Maybe I'm just slow on the uptake, guys. I mean, I, I just didn't manage to catch that particular video when this whole story about Moran Morali broke. I've just found this clip on Twitter. It's been leaked via this account. And I assume this is one of the videos from the now defunct OnlyFans account that allegedly Morad was running. This clip is particularly disturbing. I'm not going to pretend it isn't. Because in this clip, which you just saw, albeit covered up because I don't want to get thrown off YouTube, this is the clip in which he is basically calling a black gentleman the N-word and getting him to worship his feet. And, yeah, it's just... it's unpleasant. Now, I appreciate the man in the video consented to this, apparently, and Morad, I guess, did as well, assuming it is him, and I have to say, the voice does sound like him. And yeah, if, if they consented to it and wanted to do it, that is on them. That's their adults and that's their business. And I think a lot of people have said during this whole scandal that, yeah, it's, it's his business. If he wants to do stuff with other consenting adults, that's up to him. But what is unacceptable is the racial slurs. Because even if someone is paying you to do that work and you've agreed a verbal contract, blah, 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 you should have sense enough to know that there is no verbal contract strong enough, paid enough, for you to use such racially offensive language. And it should just never happen. Even if someone says, oh, well, it's something I really get off on. Well, stop getting off on that and find something else to get off on that isn't so incredibly offensive. I just don't understand it. And of course, he has certainly put himself forward as such an ally of the black community. It makes it all the more painful. And that is what's so sad about this, as well as disturbing. If you happen to stumble upon this clip online, I would recommend you don't watch it, but you can if you like. Every time you watch the beginning of this video, where the video goes silent, is either where he's saying the N-word, or where I had to just take one of the swear words out because I didn't want my video to kind of fly down the rankings. Here's what's really interesting, right? In a video a year ago, called something like I'm starting an OnlyFans, Morad himself, seems to reference these people who are what he calls foot followers and talk about or imply that they like his feet. Have a look at this clip. But guys, as I was saying at the beginning of this video, I'm not mad about making OnlyFans because these foot followers, guys, I don't know where these people are coming from, but the, it is crazy. It is absolutely something that I have never expected in my life. Some person is, I'll just show you an example. Hi, is it possible to buy your feet pics? Hi there gorgeous, I find you sexy, I apologize in advance, just too curious. Do you by chance sell your socks, underwear? What the hell is going on? I think you'd smell extremely manly. Guys, this is mad. And then the comments are just completely different now. And you have all these people putting these foot emojis. Someone said, do you need a massage? I was like, no, thank you. I'm good. I don't need a massage from you. I don't know you. But um, every part of you is, but like, listen, it is crazy. Thinking of even doing that just for the foot stuff, guys. Just, just for these foot followers, because they, is, they, they, I don't know. It's very weird. And I'm not mad at it, guys. I said it in a comment yesterday. I'm not mad at it. But of course, this is mainly for the fact that I have just made a Patreon, Rob Morali. The link is below. Please go subscribe to that. So was this hiding in plain sight all this time? That he had referenced it already? None of us had really kind of, perhaps, taken note of the word foot. He was using the word foot a lot. We just thought, oh, it's just fans saying how much they fancy him. And that's normal when your exposure level grows. Inevitably, people are going to find you attractive and say nice things about the way you look. And it's just part of the kind of craziness of the internet. When actually he's talking about all oh, these foot followers, people saying, can I have pictures of your feet? So they must have known something, or he must have put something out there. And then he was kind of trying to brush it under the carpet, as well as inevitably spilling the beans. Because the beans have certainly been spilt now. Uh, you know, it's it, it's not good. That's the trouble with the truth. It has a habit of running around naked. And, uh, yeah, this is sad. Listen, I'm not, I'm not here to celebrate Morad's demise. I really have no problem with Morad. I've enjoyed watching his channel many times. I've enjoyed watching his Love Island interviews. I've enjoyed watching his analysis of Love Island. When you get into Love Island and you enjoy it, you want to hear other people talk about it. He's obviously one of the leading lights when it comes to that. And I know in his apology video, he seems to be 
upset and he talks about his past of abuse and I get all that. So I'm not here to celebrate his downfall. I just find this incredibly interesting and I also find it quite upsetting as well because he, he certainly seemed to be trustworthy and approachable and nice and it's just sad to know that behind the scenes yeah he was doing perhaps what some of us would consider weird sexual stuff but it's the racial slurs that really get me because you know I can understand someone doing that weird sexual stuff behind the scenes behind closed doors you can do what you like as long as you're above the age of 18 and you're a consenting adult as long as it isn't breaking the law but it's the racial slurs I just I just have a real problem with. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you found this informative and I'll see you again for another video that hopefully does not involve some weird foot stuff and racism. Bye!